Welcome back to my week of the Baby Lock Love of Sewing Challenge. If you've been following along, we introduced my dress project earlier in the week, and if you've caught some of our bonus footage, you found us on my blog, the Baby Lock website, and then other social media as well. So I hope you're catching all those great little tidbits. Well, today we're gonna delve into my special feature on the Destiny machine but I wanna show you something first at my cutting table. I'm gonna take my regular scissors and I'm gonna cut a straight line. Now, I sew a lot, so I'm fairly accurate when I do this. However, I'm not a nice sharp rotary cutter. So when I take this ruler, and I love this ruler. I use this all the time and I place this. I have a nice sharp edge. I can use the, the gauge on here and literally slice a beautiful, nice sharp edge on my fabric. It's so much more pre precision. What this ruler is, it's a guideline. So we have a guideline marker on the Baby Lock Destiny and there are some really cool things that you can do with it. So let's head over to the machine and we'll take a look. What exactly is the guideline marker on the Baby Lock Destiny? Well, believe it or not, it actually is a real laser. If you open up your Destiny manual, it actually talks about it being a real laser. Um, however, it's small enough, it's not going to harm or hurt anyone. I knew that we had this amazing technology, but I really read all the specific things about it and thought that actually was pretty cool. And I mentioned that to my five-year-old son and he really thought that was cool because he instantly said my sewing machine had a lightsaber like Star Wars. So um, we're, he's a big fan now, but let's take a look at the machine and I'm going to show you the features. It is very easy to use and with literally the touch of a button you have some really cool options. So let's hop over here and take a look. When you turn your machine on you're going to have this screen and we're going to actually just go to the machine settings button. If you don't know what that is there are all kinds of settings and things that you can do to customize your machine. On page three is the guideline marker adjustment. So I'm gonna turn that on, and you really won't have to do this too often, but what this does is it lines up your marker, and let's hop over to the, the bed of the machine, and if you see this red line, that is your laser, your sewing machine laser. And if it's lined up correctly, it will go on this dotted line. If it's not, you can actually push this button and shift it just to the left or just to the right as needed. Then there also is a light adjustment and I am gonna grab a piece of fabric and lay this on here. If you want a little bit of a, a lighter mark, this is number one, the faintest line that you can place on your fabric and then two, three, four, and five. I keep mine right on five so that I can see my laser and it's nice, crisp, and clear, especially on dark fabrics. So that is the, the basic settings that you can adjust for the guideline marker in the home setting screen. I will click OK and we are now ready to go to the sewing menu. We'll click sewing and I'm going to show you the few features of using your guideline marker and you probably have noticed that I've used my sensor pin which is a great feature and tool and this little icon right here is the guideline marker and that is how you turn that on when you're sewing. And you will notice two things. First of all, it's going to appear on your, your bed of your machine, on your fabric. Then the guideline also is going to show in your display area here as well. So you have your presser foot and then whatever stitch you have going on right now is going to be right there next to that guideline. The second thing on the screen here is the placement. So as I shift this, and let's just do that a couple places, you'll see that that guideline has gotten closer to my row of stitching. You'll also be able to see it move over here on the machine. So if I hit the button, let's watch this guideline move back and forth on the fabric. 
There you go. Now I'm going to show you another way to adjust the placement. Right now I'm just going back and forth. And another cool thing is if you happen to do any mirror image, say you're doing a zipper and maybe you have a row of stitching and you have um, you want to mark on one side and then you want to mark and stitch exactly on the other side, if you go to the display screen, this button right here will instantly shift your line from whichever side it's on to the exact placement on the mirror image side. So if I click that, now watch what's gonna happen. This red line's gonna switch over here and the same thing will happen. And it, instead of sitting there going click, 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 it will do that for you. And if you happen to forget, you know, how many clicks you are, you know, one, two, three, four, and you couldn't remember how many you did, you just hit that button and it would uh, automatically adjust for you. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at how this also works with the sensor pin. And then I'm going to show you some actual application on some different techniques that I used in my project and how you can use this in your project as well. If we go to the display of the machine, there is the sensor pin button, which is right here. Looks like our sensor pin. And there are a couple different options. If we click the guideline marker, you'll see this great uh, display screen. And this one's really important because the highlighted area is the opening width of the area that you can stitch on your presser foot. So this is seven millimeters. And if we go over here to the opening on our presser foot, that is what this area right here is, okay? So when anytime you're forming a stitch, that is as wide as that can be on this particular presser foot. The neat thing is that now we can go, and I'm gonna click OK, and we actually can adjust the placement. There we go, whoops. Go back to our sensor screen and pick that. Um, so we can actually go in now and touch the position of our laser. So if I go to my machine and touch, let's say for example I want a quarter of an inch, um, I can touch that and then that laser is gonna move and I'm actually, my starting position was the previous position that I had. So if I started at the beginning, then I clicked the quarter of an inch, it would actually go to that point. You can click okay. Oops lost my screen again. There we go. And you can see that the little red mark, and it looks really wide on the display screen here, but it's a very small area um, on the foot. But I like how that it's nice and big because this is where your precision comes from. You really can go in and millimeter adjust where the placement of that line is going to be because that is your guideline that you can use to line up all sorts of stitching and details with your sewing. So you can see if I decide let's move this over just a little bit and click that and click OK then I've got a new placement for my guide line. I want to show you another really cool feature that we can do with the guideline marker and our sensor pin. I'm going to select another stitch and I want to illustrate let's just grab a regular zigzag. If I click the sensor pin see how this particular stitch is grayed out so that means that what I'm about to show you won't work with that stitch. So we'll click cancel, but it will, I already know because I use this one, <laughs> it will work with this particular stitch and many of your other special features too. All right, so now I can click this button. And the really cool thing about this is you can adjust the width of your stitches. And I'm gonna illustrate this in just a minute, but I wanna point this out that for example, if I want to do that zigzag stitch and say I want to start right here I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna click maybe over here click OK alright so now when I go to stitch my zigzag stitch is going to be a custom size and I'm gonna illustrate that in just a minute but I want to kind of give you a little bit of an introduction introduction to um, how we're going to be using these buttons and what exactly I'm doing when we do some of our samples and then we'll see how it worked in our final dress project.